An Eastern Kentucky sports icon and well-known educator is dead. Pete Grigsby Jr. died this morning at the age of 81. Grigsby played basketball at Kentucky in the early 1950s, coached McDowell High School to three state tournament appearances, and also served as superintendent for Floyd County Schools. I spoke to former players about Grigsby's legacy. Playing for the University of Kentucky and leading a team to the state tournament are dreams shared by many young basketball players from the mountains. Pete Grigsby did both. Grigsby earned first team All-State honors at Martin High School before heading to UK to play for Coach Adolf Rupp. Grigsby was a member of the 1953-54 team that posted a perfect 25-0 record but did not compete in the NCAA tournament because graduate students were banned from playing in the event. In an interview with WYMT last year, Grigsby talked about that legendary team. We didn't know it was going to be historic. Uh, Coach Rupp wanted to win. He wanted to show uh, the NCAA up and uh, have the best team. And we were the best team in the nation, number one, all year long. Grigsby went on to coach McDowell High School for 13 seasons, guiding the Daredevils to three region championships. State Senator Johnny Ray Turner played for Grigsby at McDowell. He wanted to make sure that you, if you were a player, that you had every opportunity to play. And uh, no matter you know, where you came from or what, he, he wanted to make sure that you had the opportunity and uh, to show, show your skills. Grigsby's skills as a coach were witnessed by former Betsy Lane player Junior Newsom when his Bobcats played Grigsby's McDowell teams. Later as superintendent, Grigsby hired Newsom to coach Betsy Lane. His legacy to me is how good a person he really was. A Christian man, uh, never had a ill word to say, always had a smile on his face. A beloved coach with a storied career and a legacy as a true mountain legend. Grigsby also coached at MC Napier in Perry County. He worked as superintendent as Floyd County Schools for nearly one decade. Hall Funeral Home will handle the arrangements.